Hello and welcome to another edition of Good Morning Patia, Patia Channel's very own breakfast show. I'm your host, Nick Pendrell, and joining me once again is the delightful Carolyn. Good morning. Thanks for coming back again. Just couldn't stay away. Can't resist, no, can can't you? Resist. Can't resist. No, Keep no. coming back. <laughs> And I'm not the only Nick in the studio today, because we have a second Nick with us. It's Welcome me. to the show, Nick from Salsa Amanti. Good I'm to see you here. Good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell us all about what is Salsa Amanti? Uh, Salsa Amanti is, a, uh, is like, a, like a club. Mm -hmm. Not really a club to dance for, but on the, on the website, on the internet we have a website and we give all kinds of information about dance events, salsa, music, dance clips. Right. Stuff like that. And is this uh, specifically in Patia or specifically in Thailand or international? It is, it is, it is of course international, but it mm -hmm. is based in, in, in Patia. The most information on the website is about international uh, dance events mm -hmm. and the main course is of course Patia. Right. All right. Yes. So how did you get involved with salsa? Salsa? Oh, I dance uh, since I'm about 20. Right. So I'm from Holland and mm -hmm. we have uh, the colonies, mm -hmm. such, such you know, oh, in, the, in the Caribbean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I lived there for a while, so uh, I learned there the merengue and the salsa oh, and the bachatas. Okay. Which colony in particular? Uh, the Netherlands Antillians. Right. Mm -hmm. And that uh, I was based on Curaçao. Oh, lovely. Yeah. yeah. So there are start my interest in Latin music, in salsa mm -hmm. music. Mm -hmm. Because I dance only the, the salsa, the merengue, the bachata, the, the, the Latin stuff, not, not the ballroom stuff I don't dance. Right, yeah. right. And uh, this, this came from just a, an interest to a, a career? Yeah, it starts, it starts with you go to a dance evening and mm -hmm. you, what you see you try to learn. Mm -hmm. it, I was very interested in dancing in that time and it's grow and developed in later in the school and an instructor and... In right, yeah. right. Was that back in Holland that you had a school? Yeah, I, uh, I had a big dance school in Holland, in my home hometown. Mm -hmm. Which is? Uh, Eindhoven. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's in the south of Holland. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, had, I had there over 600 students. Mm -hmm. So it's it a yeah. big school. Yeah. 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 And um, so, uh, but you, you gave that up before you came to, to Patia? Yeah, I sold my business there. It was a, a dance school and also for parties mm -hmm. in that time. So I, I, I sold the dance school and come over to Thailand, first right. for holiday, mm -hmm. and then I stay. Now I stay more than 12 years already. Right, yeah. a long time. Yeah. yeah. So the dancing stuff is in my youth. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> But have you been involved with, with dance while you've been over here in some yeah, in, in, in the beginning, I for hobby, I make a small dance studio mm -hmm. and it's running well. And then um, I set up the, the website, of course, from Salsa Amante. All right. Is the dance school still going? No, the dance school is not going anymore because right. it is not... You have a lot of, lot of competition in yeah, the city yeah. and that's not a problem. So I did a lot of lessons in my life already before mm -hmm. and the salsa is now developed to another level, right. so uh, the younger generation can do that. <laughs> right. Need to do that. Anyway. Right. Yeah. So when did you finish with the school then? Here? In, yeah. In, in, it's about five years ago. Okay, yeah. okay, so a while. But it was not really a school, it was a studio, I did a little mm -hmm. bit of workshops, because in that time the, there were no dance schools mm -hmm. on, on, on the salsa. All right. And um, yeah, from there on, other people coming and giving lessons and I support them now. So, right. so when I have new students who contact me through the website, I, mm -hmm. I send them through uh, several schools here and there. Uh, okay, so you refer them. So Salsa Amanti, the, the website, that's yeah. your sort of main focus at the moment. Yes, yes. It is the information for because there are a lot of tourists coming to the city and mm -hmm. people are who dancing the salsa. The first thing is what they do is searching for salsa. Right. To dance. Mm -hmm. And now the last couple of years there are a few organizations do a lot in the salsa a lot of events mm -hmm. so I try to support them right and right. my my website is already running for more than 10 years so mm. uh, when you go to Google and you search it you the first one is popping up is mine right so my my idea was now to support mm -hmm. and 
because I dance, I like to dance also. So when I go to an evening, I like that there are many people. So right, right. So that is the thing for me. It's in your interest as yeah, well yeah. to uh, to to make salsa as, uh, as yes, as and, popular. and the people when they look on the website, they can see uh, what salsa is, what mm -hmm. it means. That you have uh, dance clips you right. can see mm -hmm. when you're curious about the dance. You have music, so mm -hmm. it's a good thing to. To do. Yeah, I can imagine after you've been running it for 10 years, you uh, yeah. must be quite detailed by now. Yeah, it's a good side, but for me it's important that uh, the salsa live in Patea. Mm -hmm. Because it is a nice social scene where you are yeah. into. Yeah. It's totally different as the rest of the scenes which we know in Patea. Yeah. So right. So Absolutely. the people want to do, uh, who are living here, want to do have uh, other kinds of evenings. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Are there any sort of big events going on? Sort of in the immediate future? Yeah, we have uh, we have now at the moment two or three dance evening every week, such as in the Holiday Inn on Saturday, on the Access on the second road uh, on Wednesday tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Giorgio do that. Is a guy from the Philippines. Mm -hmm. He uh, has a very big part in the salsa scene. He's mm -hmm. a very good teacher. So most students I send to them to to him. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, he has uh, two evenings per week and then the, the, the Holiday Inn and then mostly we have uh, like when there is a music festival in, in, in Patia we we do something extra on the boulevard or we, mm -hmm. so that's nice. Right and do you go to most of these events yourself? When I'm here I'm always there yeah. Tonight, right. is, tonight is dancing again <laughs> so when you try, when you want to try it, I, yeah. come, love, come and we dance, it's no problem. <laughs> So what, what nationalities come to your website mostly? Oh, yeah, they're coming from everywhere because mm -hmm. it's, as you know, uh, in Patia, from all over the world, people coming. Mm -hmm. And I have the, the Google Analyze. So right, yeah. The most, of course, is from Europe. Mm -hmm. A lot of Germany and a lot of uh, English, Dutch, Belgian, mm -hmm. American people. But now uh, in Asia, also the, the salsa is very popu right. popular. Right. In, in, in China is huge. Really? So yeah, it's really huge. Mm, you cannot imagine, but it's huge. I have a friend of me here. He lives here also. He's a German guy, uh, Uwe, mm -hmm. and he uh, he give many lessons in China because he lives in Beijing. Ah, right. And he, you see, so there's always a connection with with somebody outside of Thailand or mm. is in China or in Holland or in Germany. We have the contacts. And when something happened, mm -hmm. uh, and then I put it on the website, and everybody can have the information. All right. Yeah. So, how long does it take to learn salsa? Uh, the basic is normally ten lessons from ten hours, of ten lessons from one hour. Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, and from from there on, you can go to normally you have five basic levels, and then you go to the higher levels. So this it it's developed a lot the salsa. When I'm starting in in 1980, the salsa. It was basically Cuban, mm -hmm. uh, Puerto Rico Cuban or Colombian salsa, a little bit New York salsa, different styles. Mm -hmm. And it was, yeah, basic, uh, what we call them basic. But it developed more and more. The LA style is coming now, it's very popular. So when you see it, it's like, you know, it's, it's like a show. Mm -hmm. it's not, normally it is a social thing. No? Yeah. yeah. But, uh, you see many, many couples who are so high in level, even not I can dance like, like that. Mm -hmm. So it's developed a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you think that's been good for, for salsa? I mean, yes, does you, that bring more people into the, into the dance? Team? Yeah, of course, when you see, when, when you're standing next to the dance floor and you see couples dancing like that, you say, wow, mm -hmm. is that possible that you can do that? Mm -hmm. And it is because when you build up your basic and you have a little bit feeling for rhythm and you can learn it easy. Mm -hmm. Everybody can learn the salsa. But mm. So for some it's easier than others. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Those that have got... Yes. Uh, yeah. I, can, I can stories, uh, can you, I can tell you stories about that. So <laughs> that people really uh, try to learn it, but they have no rhythm at all. Mm. Because it is a four quarter, so everybody can do the four quarter step. That's not the problem. But. Yeah. But in, in, in your career, have you ever had any students that you just are beyond hope that you just go, no, I'm sorry, just yes, salsa is an, not for you? I had in Holland, I had one student and it was a guy in that time, he was about 30, 38, something mm -hmm. like that. And he's coming to my base and he said, oh my God, 
I have a horse on the floor. What is this? <laughs> I didn't say that, but I thought it by myself. I think, what's this? And I spoke mm. with the man and he said, no, oh, I know. I have no feeling for rhythm, but I want to learn it. <laughs> and he stayed in my school for five years. Five years? Five years. And every level he did, he can, in that time, every move, you know, mm -hmm. I don't understand that he can do it. But when you look at him, you think, my God, this is like a horse. <laughs> he has no rhythm at all, you know. But he still on it and he, he enjoyed it, or really enjoyed yeah. it. Yes, yes, yeah. he, every party was there. Everybody danced with him mm -hmm. because this is the salsa. That is the difference be between the salsa scene and the ballroom scene. The ballroom scene, mostly couples come. Yeah. They dance together and once in a while they change. Mm -hmm. But in the salsa scene, everybody Change. Yeah. They yeah. go crisscross, everybody asks each other, and mm -hmm. the, the ladies can ask the man and other way around. There's no problem. It's yeah. very social. Mm. Yeah. So. Do, you, do you find men struggle with it more than women, or is it not really gender-based? Is it more? Yeah, I, of course, the man, the man has the problem, they must to learn to lead. Yes. And uh, leading <laughs> is a thing, you know, <laughs> mostly on the dance floor. We say always, yeah. say to your wife, on the dance floor, I'm the boss. Uh, yeah. There it stops. <laughs> <laughs> so, because the lady won't always take over. Yeah. <laughs> so we learned that, okay, on the dance floor, the man is the boss, you must follow him. Yeah. But he must learn to lead, and that is another thing. Mm. Yeah. Of course, we have in the program, in the basics program, how to do that. Mm -hmm. we, we teach them that. But it's not easy, because first is leading, and then you must lead the figures. So you must, it must go automatically, one figure and the other one and the other one and the other one. And that's difficult for mm -hmm. somebody to, to learn. You must have a little bit feeling for that. Yeah. So we say always dance a lot and then it's coming, it's no problem. Early, when we were at the beginning of the interview, you said uh, a couple of other dance styles that uh, you picked up when you were in Curacao. What, what, what were they? Yeah, you have, you have uh, uh, in the salsa, you have uh, four, five, or six styles. We right. call that the New York style, LA style, mm -hmm. uh, Cuban style, because basically everything is coming from the Cuban style. Yeah. The, the, the salsa start mm -hmm. uh, in Cuba. Mm -hmm. But it developed in other styles. That means, uh, for example, the, the Cuban style is you dance in a circle, basically. Right. Mm -hmm. And the LA style, you dance in a line. Mm -hmm. But the, 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 the steps, the quarter is the same, it's a four right. quarter, it's mm -hmm. not a difference. Yeah. After, after that you have also other kind of music, like mm -hmm. Maringue music, and Bachata music, mm -hmm. and that are other steps. Yeah. Maringue is a two-step, Bachata is a two-step with a hip. So then you have, for example, uh, 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 Antillian walls, or you have the, the cumbia, or you have the cha-cha-cha. The old Latin dances. Mm -hmm. And do, uh, once you've learned the salsa, is it a lot easier to learn these other ones? Are they quite similar or do you need to start from scratch for each of these dances? Yeah, you start from scratch for each dances, but mm -hmm. you know, the, the opinions are different. My opinion is first learn the merengue and then the salsa. Mm -hmm. But mostly now they start with the salsa and afterwards they learn the bachata and the merengue. Right. It's all about the feeling. You build up a feeling for a mm -hmm. rhythm. Mm -hmm. And the Moringa is a two, two step. So basically, when you see it, you think it's very easy to dance. It's one, mm -hmm. two, one, two. But there's more feeling in it. So mm -hmm. when you develop this feeling in, in those steps, later on, when you go learn the salsa, mm -hmm. is that more easy? Yeah. Right. When you're learning a four quarter, and then you must develop your feelings for the music, mm -hmm. you, you are busy with the four quarter. One, two, one, two, it's easy. Everybody can walk. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. <laughs> so, you understand? Mm -hmm. In my opinion, is start first with the merengue. But that's what I did before, when I start giving lessons. Now, those days, they start dealing with the salsa. Right. And afterwards, they learn, learn the merengue. Yeah. Okay. So, all this information is on your website. Can you remind us the uh, address? The address on the website? Yeah. www.salsaamante.com Salsa Amante. A-M-A-N-T-I. Amante. 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 With an E. Yeah. Dot com. Yeah? Yeah. 
All right. So anybody who's interested in salsa, that's the place to find out more. Yeah. Nick, thank you very much for coming on and telling us all about salsa. Sounds uh, like a lot of fun for everybody. And for our viewers, stay tuned because we're going to be back with part two, Best of the Web, very soon.